a Star Wars movie directed by the guy who brought us The Atom Project, Free Guy, Three Night at the Museum movies, Real Steel, and some comedies like The Internship and Date Night is on the way. And this movie could be about the fall of Ben Solo and Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy. <laughs> Star Wars fans have been waiting for this story since the release of Return of the Jedi in 1983, and now Sean Levy might be giving us what we've all been asking for. But stick around till the end of this video to see why I think Sean Levy is giving us the fall of Ben Solo and Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple, and we're going to speculate at the end of this video with all the information that we know, when will this movie be released? Smash a like on this video and let's break this all down. Star Wars is finally coming back to the big screen. The last Star Wars movie was Rise of Skywalker in 2019. It's been four years since the last Star Wars movie. And back at Star Wars Celebration earlier this year in April, three Star Wars movies were announced. The first movie that's supposed to be released in May of 2026 is the Rey movie. This will follow Rey 15 years after the events of Rise of Skywalker as she's starting a new Jedi Order. The next time slot that Lucasfilm has for a Star Wars movie is December of that same year, 2026, and that will most likely be Dave Filoni's Mandoverse or Heir to the Empire movie that will give us Thrawn taking over the galaxy and hopefully the heroes of Luke, Leia, and Han taking him down. And the third and final movie that was announced at Star Wars Celebration is a James Mangold Dawn of the Jedi movie. Now right now Lucasfilm does have a December 2027 release date and that's probably where this movie will fall but none of those dates are confirmed yet. It wasn't announced at Star Wars Celebration that Sean Levy is getting this Star Wars movie. However, Sean himself has confirmed this. Now let's talk a little bit about Sean Levy. Who is this guy and why would he be a good director for a Star Wars movie? Well, at the top of the video, I mentioned movies that he's directed like Free Guy and The Atom Project and other movies like that. And other than Ryan Reynolds holding a lightsaber in this movie, Sean has had zero experience when it comes to Star Wars, which usually is a giant red flag. However, right now he is in the midst of creating an MCU movie called Deadpool 3. Now, I'm not saying that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the same as the Star Wars universe, but they are both very large universes with already established story arcs and characters where a Deadpool movie and a Star Wars movie would kind of do the same thing, add on to the story that already exists. Sean Levy's directed Deadpool 3 movie is set to release at some point in 2024. There is no release date just yet. But if you look at Sean's last three projects with The Atom Project, Free Guy, and Deadpool 3, there's one pretty clear thing that they all have in common, and that is Ryan Reynolds. Sean and Ryan are very good friends, and he likes to work with his friends. Keep that in mind as we get into this Vanity article. So in this interview with Vanity, the question that was asked to Sean Levy was, since you are close to Adam Driver, could your Star Wars movie be a prequel to Episode 7, The Force Awakens, in which Kylo Ren would be back? Now, of course, they're talking about Ben Solo's fall to the dark side becoming Kylo Ren in a prequel movie to The Force Awakens, kind of being the prequel to the sequels. The sequel's prequel, as it were. But Sean's response is what has me thinking that this is exactly exactly what this movie's going to be about. Luke's Jedi Temple and Ben Solo's fall. His response is, your words, not mine. As you know, Adam is a buddy, and I've always been a huge fan of Kylo Ren, but no comment. Now let's be honest, Sean Levy denying all accounts of Ben Solo or Adam Driver being involved in his movie at all leads us to believe that that's what's going to happen. If it wasn't going to be this Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple movie with Ben Solo's fall to the dark side, then he probably would have just said, no, Adam's not going to be involved in my movie. We're moving to a different time period in the Star Wars galaxy. There is no reason for him to keep a secret if there is no secret to keep. And for those reasons, I am fully convinced that Sean Levy's Star Wars movie is going to be about Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy with Ben Solo's fall to the dark side. Now, with all that being said, when are we going to get to see this movie? Adam Driver's not getting any younger, and unless they're going to recast Ben Solo, they're going to have to get to this movie pretty quick. Well, in this same interview with Variety, when asked about this Star Wars movie and its release, Sean says, We are in the early days, unfortunately, because the development process was abruptly paused due to the writer strike that went on for over 150 days, but now that writer strike is over and Sean can get back to work on writing this Star Wars movie. 
However, I don't think we're getting it anytime soon. Like I said, Sean is working on Deadpool 3, which is supposed to come out next year. And like I said earlier in the video, there's already three Star Wars movies set to release before this one. So if I were to guess when Sean Levy's Star Wars movie would be released, I would either say it would take James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi spot in 2027, or you're probably looking at a 2028 release date. And that's five years away, and sadly probably the earliest that that movie will be released. But tell me what you think in the comment section below. Are you excited for Sean Levy's movie? And do you think it's all about Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy and Ben Solo's fall to the dark side? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did about Anakin Skywalker saving Ben Solo from dying in the rise of Skywalker.